And the last thing I will say is um, you have to let go of the how. Here's where most people get stuck with hopelessness. They're like, I have a dream. I have a dream board. And I know what I'm called for. And I know that God has said I'm significant. And I know that he says he's special. I'm special. He's special. We're both special. (laughs) And I know that, like, he loves me and he's for me. And I have great things in store. I forgot what I was saying. (laughs) It was a great rant, though, wasn't it? (laughs) Oh, okay. I remember. (laughs) The how, you're not supposed to know how to get there. Every miracle, you can't figure out the how. I think about the Israelites, when they were about to enter the promised land, they go and um, two of them have hope. Two of them are like, yeah, this is, it's a land flowing with milk and honey. We can do it. And then the rest of them are like, no, there's giants. It's horrible. We're grasshoppers. It'll never work. And so they don't do it. Why? Because they couldn't see the how. Because people get stuck at the how. But I will tell you every story in the Bible, the humans didn't know the how. Mary's like, how am I pregnant with a child? (laughs) Moses is at the Red Sea. How are we going to get somewhere and not die? Like you name a miracle in the Bible, there is somebody being like, how is this going to work? Sarah is like, how am I going to get pregnant? If you think you have to carry the weight of the how, you will crumble. You just can't do it. It was never meant. Like, God literally spoke to me. He said, the how's not your responsibility. And here's what happened. I remember when I had my job and I was so hopeless, it was because I could not imagine a job that I would like. It was like, I have no even, I don't even have a dream. I can't even figure out a job that I want. So if I can't think it, I'm sure God can't make something happen because I have to be able to see what I is supposed to do so that I can make it happen. And it's just not true. There's so many times. I, I, I pour into a lot of people in my generation, and they're like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with my life. And I'm terrified because if I don't know, I can't, have, I can't have it happen. And I'm like, you don't have to know anything. You just do what's in front of you and believe God is good and believe the how is not on your shoulders. So here's what I want to do. I want to, um, Taff, if you'll come up. I just want to start, there are some people here, like New Year's, I want to tell you this, New Year's is the time of hope. Everybody makes resolutions, right? Everybody's like, this year I'm going to change everything. And you still believe you can change your life because it's only January 6th. (laughs) And so everybody feels hope. This is the year. And then what happens is if you don't use the muscles of hope, if you don't remember that perseverance works, if you don't remember that you can see a future where it's actually going to happen, If you don't remember to not listen to the lies of the accuser, then eventually you're just going to stop your resolutions and be like, yep, life is just always going to be like this. Why did I even try? So I would like to urge you tonight that your resolution wouldn't be to become perfect at whatever goal you have, but to carry hope all year long with it. It doesn't mean you are always successful, it means you don't quit.